In this video, we're going to explore why I'm getting different compression test readings on this generator. A little history, this is a 23-year-old engine and generator that I've owned for the 23 years. I just took it out of storage and it wouldn't start, so we have a video where we rebuilt the carburetor. After doing that, I, I realized that we have zero compression, so I have a second video where we changed out the uh, head gasket. So now I'm going to show you three compression tests after getting the head gasket changed out. We're going to go ahead and spin it over to see what the compression comes up to. Okay, we ended up getting 30 pounds, which is kind of low, probably because the cylinders were dry from the generator being an engine being set up in storage for so long. I was able to start the unit and run it for about eight days. I had to run it because of a hurricane that came through town. Hurricane anymore. I decided to run another pressure test on it just to see if it improved. So this is after I ran the unit for eight days to power my house. Uh, this day I, I, I ran it in the morning, I let it cool off, and about six hours later I ran this test and got about 40 pounds. So now that the pistons were wet with oil, oil again, looks like we improved by 10 PSI. After reading the service manual for this engine, the directions was to run the engine for five minutes to warm it up and then do the compression test. Doing it with that technique, we came up to 58 pounds. There is no published acceptable pressure in the manual, but what I could find on the internet from other people was anywhere from 60 to 65 pounds was acceptable. I think mine is still a little bit low and that's why I'm getting some hard start issues. But overall, it ran well for the eight days and powered my home. In a future video, I'll probably do a leak down test and see if there's additional issues with the valves or the rings. So you can see from the variation in readings that it's important to take the compression test at the under the right conditions, which uh, you need to get the engine to operating temperatures and take the test while the engine is still warm. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate any comments below. Please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thank you.